scales, the dominant, the subdominant, one, four, five, blah, 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 and all this diatonic harmony. It's impressive. And you, now you can explain it if somebody asks you, but wouldn't it be nice to just get rid of this and just have a circle? Yes. Because watch what happens. This is step number one, right? This is four. This is five. This is two. This is six. six and this is three. All right? Have you ever heard the term relative minor? Every major key has a relative minor key. All right, back to the husband and wife story. Home, wife, husband. All right? If the husband leaves home, if the C chord goes to a G chord, almost always with the GPS in my family, the Cecil's like hooked up, he loves that woman inside that GPS. <laughs> Okay, she talks the whole time we're on a trip. We just, yeah, 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 turn left, turn right, you went too far, go back. We just want to smack her. Her, her name is Jill. Yeah. <laughs> One goes to five. The husband almost always knows how to get back home. So if a C chord goes to a G chord, one to five, see, it always goes back to one. If the wife leaves home, goes shopping, Generally, she can find her way back home, too. See? Four goes to one. But once in a while, I don't have a GPS, so I have a tendency to get lost. So I have to call the husband or go get him and then both go home. See? Use his GPS, <laughs> then go home. All right. So C chord, if the wife leaves, most of the time, she goes right back home. Occasionally, one goes to four, goes to five, one goes to four, goes to five, goes to one. But on the circle, I just go, okay, C goes to G, 99% odd that the third chord's gonna be G. All right, if a C chord goes to F, 85% odds, well, no, 90% odds that she's gonna go back home too. But if she doesn't go back home, she usually goes, gets the husband, and then they go home. All right? That's how it works. So if I'm not in the key of C, I'm in the key of F. Look, what are the three major chords in the key of F? F, B flat, and C. If F goes to C, what's the next chord? F. If F goes to B flat, what's the next chord? F. Well, all right, how about the key of E? E, B, and A. See how easy? Now, now comes these other little guys, those minor, the, the relatives. Okay, I got husband and wife all set with the home. Then I got these relatives out here. All right, the relative, the main relative, is Uncle Albert, we'll call him. The relative house is always at 9 o'clock, right around the corner. If the major chord is at 12 o'clock, the name of the key, the tonic, then the relative minor is at 9 o'clock, always. And the one to the right of it and the one to the left of it are, are, are the other two minors. So check it out. In the key of C, this holds true, right? See, look. C, there's D minor right there, E minor and A minor, and G and F. So I have every step of the scale from 8 o'clock to 1 o'clock. And that is, and if I go all the way down, if I just cut the pie in half, there's that B diminished chord. That's the last note in that C scale. So it's the pie, 1 o'clock all the way to 7 o'clock. Those are all the chords that get used in the key of C. Cool, huh? If I put F at 12 o'clock, let's pretend that that's 12 o'clock, it would be F to E. The major chords would be F, B flat, and C, and the minors would be D, A, and G. And G, I can't jump back there. I have to take the road to get back there. Thus comes my chord progression. And I don't even need to think. 
It's C, A minor, D minor, G, C. If it jumps down here to E minor, look, say it. C, C E minor, minor A, A minor, D minor, D minor G, C. C. And there it is. Oh. Everybody. Oh. Aren't you glad you have a circle? <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm in the key of B flat. First chord is B flat, second chord is D minor. What's the next chord? G, G, G minor. minor. Next chord? C, C minor. minor. F major, B flat. Remember, one to the left, one to the right are major, the next three back are minor. But, there's always a but. <laughs> Not always. Depending on the melody and how the composer wrote the song, sometimes these minor chords, which are supposed to be minor, they just decide to make them major, just because they can. For example, this song. Now, the first chord is C. The problem is, the composer probably wrote the melody before he figured out the chords. And he went five foot two. There's a G sharp in the second measure. Big problem. He tried every single one of those other chords in the key of C. He tried F. That didn't work. He tried G. That didn't work. He tried D minor. That didn't work. He tried D major. See, none of them worked because the G sharp was in the melody. From C all the way down to B, what's the only chord in that segment that has a G sharp in it? That's a quiet answer. <laughs> Spell the chords. G, B, D, D, F sharp, A, A, C sharp, E, E, G sharp, B. The E chord, the E major chord has a G sharp in it. So, I'll use that E chord. Some 
something that small, that little accomplishment, you sit there and you go, wow, I changed the key.